Ladies and gentlemen, our hands are washed. The oven's preheated. It's a beautiful day for Butterball. And here's our home team, the Bubble Tucky Bakers. They'll have to work together to make bubble cream cupcakes and get them safely to home plate. The timer is set, and the game's about to start. Batter up! And there's the batter in that bowl. Hey, batter, 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 batter. And here comes the pitcher of milk. First base, where Una is ready to mix the batter with her whisks. Yes! And Una mixes it all up. Gil's off to second base. He's gonna have to pour that batter into the tray if he wants to make it to home plate. Let's pour it in here. Wow, look at that, folks. Nice pour. It's time to turn that batter into cupcakes. Ooh, but our players look confused. We need your help. We need to make this batter hot, so it'll turn into cupcakes. Which will make the batter hot? The oven or the refrigerator? The oven! The oven is hot! Yeah, the oven. But only grown-ups use the oven. Time out! It's time for a short stop in the action while the cupcakes bake. Fifteen minutes later. <laughs> All baked and cool to the touch. And there's Nani with the bubble cream icing. The cupcakes are iced. And they do look yummy. Yummy! All Gil has to do now is get those cupcakes to home plate before the timer runs out. Hurry, Gilly! to the Majesty's Bubble Bee Athlon. Today, Team Bubble Bee will face the most unbelievable challenge to make honey for Her Majesty, the Queen Bee. Yes, we would like honey in our tea. And to get the Queen Bee her honey, Team Bubble Bee is going to have to pick up the nectar ball and bring it all the way back to the hive before tea time. But it's going to be some difficult flying today. Just look at all those obstacles. Obstacles are things that get in your way. And it looks like we're about to begin. On your marks. Get set. Go! Team Bumblebee takes off! These first obstacles look quite difficult. Let's see if they can fly through them without getting knocked out of the race. Oh, look at the girl! Sonny Gork! We're seeing some incredible flying today! Uh-oh! Now they're going to have to get through those flowers. And there it is, ladies and gentlemen. There's the Precious Nectar Ball. Gotcha! Brilliant! Gil has got the Nectar Ball, and Team Bumblebee is taking it back to the hive. Oh no! Got it! 
An amazing interception by Una! Go, Una! And Una had better be careful, because I think it's about to get windy! Whoa! Goby Cat! Now Goby's got the nectar ball, but it looks like it's about to rain! Look out! Ugh. And there goes the nectar ball! A perfect catch by Molly! What tremendous teamwork! Go, Molly! And Molly's heading back to the hive! Only a few more seconds until tea time! Now she's got to get the nectar ball into the hive by throwing it through the honeycomb! I need your help! Which one of these is shaped like a honeycomb? The square, the triangle, or the hexagon? The hexagon! Right, the hexagon. Wow! Bubble Bobby catches the nectar ball! I think they're really gonna tickle your taste buds. Taste buds? What are taste buds? Taste buds are little bumps on your tongue that tell you how your food tastes. Wow! <laughs> yup, and I've got five different tastes here for you to try. We have sweet strawberries, salty pretzels, bitter broccoli, and sour lemon. <laughs> <laughs> and there's one last taste, umami. Who's mommy? <laughs> no, no, umami. It's the special taste of things like mushrooms, meats, and cheeses. I like cheese a lot. <laughs> Me too, Nani. Let's think some more about the way foods taste. Some foods taste sweet, like... Strawberries. Right, strawberries. Lots of fruits are sweet, and some fruits taste sour, like... Lemons. Yup, lemons are sour. And some vegetables taste bitter, like broccoli and... Celery. Yup, celery is bitter too. Food is tasty. Let's sing about it. One, two, three. Bon appetit. Cooks are back, and they've got the 
moldy tomato I've ever seen. Don't worry, be right back. <laughs> Got a golden tomato. Stop, stop, stop! There's no time to waste. Let's get cooking. Nice to see you too, Giblet. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me, but where are all the pumpkins? We went back to the patch, but they were all gone. Ah, well, that might be because me and my crew turned them all into pumpkin pie! <laughs> pumpkin pie! Pumpkin pie! Yeah! Pumpkin pie! Oh. Arr, there's only one thing that's better than eating pumpkin pie this time of year. Eating pumpkin pie with friends. Oh. All right, let's eat. Like a smoothie, please. 
please. Wow! You've certainly come to the right place. Welcome to the Fruit Bowl, where we set them up and knock them down. What would you like in your smoothie, ma'am? Well, Bun-Bun loves carrots. So we'll make Bun-Bun a carrot smoothie. Carrots are vegetables. We need your help. Where do carrots grow? On a tree? On a vine? Or underground? Underground! That's right! Carrots grow underground. Now we have carrots, a tasty vegetable. What about fruit for your smoothie? Bun Bun loves bananas. Okay, let's take a look. We need your help again. Where do bananas grow? Under the ground, on top of the ground, or on trees? On trees! That's right! Bananas grow on trees! The bananas and carrots are all set up. And here's a cantaloupe. Bun Bun likes cantaloupe, too. Now it's time for you to knock them down. One carrot, banana, and cantaloupe smoothie coming right up. Bun Bun. Somebody likes smoothies. <laughs> thank you. You're welcome. And thank you for your help. What's your favorite food? Oh, that one's yummy. Let's think some more about the five food groups. Proteins are foods that make your muscles strong, like chicken, steak, and... Right. And beans and tofu are protein, too. Grains are foods that give you energy, like... Bread. <laughs> yep. And foods that come from milk are called dairy, like yogurt, ice cream, and... Cheese. Dairy nice. <laughs> the five food groups are making me hungry. Let's sing about it. Cheese, 
two slices of turkey, and two slices of the Baron's favorite, bland bread. Now we need two slices of tomato and some lettuce. Which group has two slices of tomato and one piece of lettuce? This one or this one? Right. We've got what we need for the Baron sandwich. Thanks for your help. Wow, what a sandwich! The Baron will definitely want to taste that. The taste buddies are back in business. Let's go! Hello. I'd like to eat cereal for breakfast. Well, you certainly come to the right place. Welcome to Cereal Boxes, where we serve breakfast to champions. We'll make a champ out of you, kid. How do you like your cereal? With milk, please. Coming right up. On this table, we'd like some cereal with milk. Uh... I think you forgot something. The kid's right. You can't eat cereal without a spoon. Right, we forgot the spoon. Here you go, champ, a spoon. Something wrong? I think I'm still missing something. Hmm. Coach? Uh, napkin? Uh-uh. I need something to put the cereal in, like a bowl. Right, a bowl! But I don't know where we keep the bowls. I need your help. Where do you find bowls in the kitchen? In the cupboard? In the oven? Or in the refrigerator? In the cupboard! Right, you can find the bowls in the cupboard. And on top of that cereal, we pour... Milk. Yup. Well, what are we waiting for? Let's eat. Well? It's good. Thanks. I like cherries. I like broccoli. <laughs> What's the matter, Dima? Don't you like broccoli? Have you ever tried it? Maybe you'll like it. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> Let's think about fruits and vegetables. Some fruit grows on trees, like... Apples. Apples, yes. And some fruit grows on a bush, like... Strawberries. Strawberries, yeah. And some vegetables grow underground, like... Carrots! That's right! Carrots! There are so many different kinds of fruits and vegetables. Let's sing about it! Give me a juicy sweet pear slice, carrot stick, extra nice. A bowl of black-eyed peas, forest of broccoli, lip snacking beans, snacking apple crunch, banana bunch, bits of plant you can eat. Then I want to eat that tree. Whoa, whoa. Fruit. Give me fruit. And veggies. And veggies too. Fruit. First a bite. And veggies. And then a two. Fruit. If it's a plant. And veggies. And you can eat them. Fruit. Fruits and veggies. They're so yummy in my tummy. They're so yummy in my tummy. You can't beat them. Potatoes, buttered mashed or rice, cucumbers, peeled and sliced, cantaloupe, eaten off the rind. Spinach, so leafy green, buffalo and tangerine, juicy berries, every shape and guy, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'll devour cauliflower and for you a honeydew. Lemon, so so tart, artichoke, leaves and
you. Hey, everyone! The ice cream is here! Oh, ice cream! Oh, that looks wonderful! <gasps> the ice cream alarm! Oh, no! The ice cream's melted! Oh, I was really looking forward to a premium ice cream experience. Yeah, me too. Sorry, everyone. There's not going to be any ice cream today. Oh, oh nasty. man. <sighs> How could this get any worse? It's real hot out here. Is there any left? No, it's all melted. M melted? <laughs> Maybe I can help. Two scoops of melted ice cream. In a cup, please. Taste it. It's... it's... delicious! Mm, really good! What do you call it? I call it... a rattle shake. Ha! <laughs> That's just what I would have said. Rattle shakes for everyone. Yeah! 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 Let's shake, rattle, and roll! Everyone enjoyed a delicious rattle shake. <laughs> Here you are, one sailboat pizza. Hey, it's a sailboat. What do you know? That's a lot of happy customers. Mm -hmm. mm, table for one. <gasps> Mr. Grumpfish! Hello. Welcome to Picture Pizza Parlor. Right this way, please. Here you go, sir. Your waiter will be right with you. Gil, go take his order, please. I don't wanna. Come on, I'll go with you. Hello. I'm, I'm waiter, and, and I'll be your Gil today. What? May I take your order, sir? Mm, I don't know. Perhaps you'd be interested in our special today, sir. We'll surprise you. Well, I... I don't like surprises. What are we gonna do? I don't know, but we have to make him a happy customer. He'll have the special. The huh? What special? I don't know. I just made it up. We have to do something. What are you looking at? <gasps> I got it! I know just what to make. Here you are, sir. The special! Made especially for you. What do you think? Was that supposed to be me? Mm-hmm. <laughs> He's starting to smile. <laughs> That's me. <laughs> it looks like me. <laughs> he likes it! <laughs> <laughs> oh, I 
was a grumpy fish, my life was misery. But then I got this pizza, now I'm happy as can be. Since he got the pizza, he's as happy as can be. Ha, 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 no more grumpy life for me. That's one happy ha, customer. Happy fish is all are we. Happy fish is all are we. What ingredients do we need to make pancakes? The ingredients are listed here on the recipe. See? The recipe says we need flour, eggs, and milk to make pancakes. We already have flour. Let's go find some eggs and milk. So the two Viking chefs traveled all around Norway to find the rest of the ingredients to make pancakes. First, they went to a farm to get the eggs. I've got the eggs from the chicken. Thank you. <laughs> Next we need... Yum! Yeah. <laughs> oh no! It's the kitchen witch! She thinks we're yummy. She's gonna try to eat us. Let's get out of here. <laughs> that was close. But at least we got the eggs. What else do we need? The next ingredient in the recipe is milk. Let's go! So the pancake chefs went to find some milk at a dairy. I've got the milk made by the cows. Thanks, Mrs. Cow. That's the last ingredient. Now we can follow the recipe to make pancakes. Let's go back to the... Yummy! <laughs> Kitchen witch! <laughs> Let's get out of here! is half full. This one, this one, or this one? That one! That cup is half full! Right! The milk goes right to the middle. This cup is half full. You could also consider it half empty. Now we have the right amount of each of our ingredients. It's time to make some yummy pancakes. <laughs> Yummy! <laughs> the kitchen witch! Please don't eat us! <laughs> eat you? I don't want to eat you. I just want to help you make some yummy pancakes. <laughs> After all, it's important to have a grown-up in the kitchen. She's going to help us make the pancakes. You bet your sweet syrup I will. So the Vikings and the Kitchen Witch made pancakes together. Here come the pancakes! Catch them while they're hot! Flip it up, flip it back, flip it on the pancake stack. <laughs> and now I'm going to make all your fruits and veggies rot. Let's get out of here! Phew! That was close. We better deliver our produce before Rotten Tomato turns it all rotten. Produce means fruits and vegetables. So the farmers hurry to deliver their fruits and vegetables to the farmer's market on Produce Planet. Here's the lettuce. And here are the oranges, perfectly ripe. <sniffs> Not again. Rotten, rotten Tomato! tomato! Time to rot and roll, dudes. My lettuce. My oranges. <laughs> Let's 
must get out of here before he makes everything rotten. I think we lost him. Farmer Nani, prepare to jump to super space. Space supermarket ahead, Farmer Gobi. And so, the space farmers went to the space supermarket to deliver their produce. We have to put everything in the right places. Green vegetables go here. And radishes are red, so they go here. Warning! Rotten tomato approaching. It's found us! We need your help to match the last of the vegetables with the right color before Rotten Tomato gets here. These are the eggplants. Do they go here or here? Sweet potatoes go here! We did it! Warning! Rotten Tomato is here! <laughs> no! Please don't make our fruit run! Don't ruin our right produce. <laughs> Your what produce? Ripe. Ripe. Here, try some. That's... that's... So delicious! Mm-hmm! Oh, oh, what have I done? I don't want to make things rotten anymore! I want to make rotten things ripe! You can help us grow more fruits and vegetables, if you want to. Yes! And so, Rotten Tomato and the Space Farmers became friends. And together, they grew the best produce in the galaxy. Everything is so perfectly ripe. Well, except for me. I'll always be rotten. <laughs> <laughs> well, howdy, Sheriff. Deputy, you're just in time for pancakes. Ooh, pancakes. Wow, they sure are smiley. Yup, smiling pancakes are my specialty. Nobody in Happy Junction ever orders any of these other expressions. An expression is how your face shows your feelings. Sheriff Molly, Deputy Gill! What is it, Una? There's a strange fish in town. Well, all right. Did you give him a nice, friendly, happy junction welcome? Uh-huh. And then... And then his face did something strange. Strange? Strange how? Well, his expression was kind of like... <laughs> Station? Have you ever seen anything like that before, Sheriff? No, I can't say I have. Say, Dima, we need to figure out what that expression is. Well, you've certainly come to the right place. We can use my pancake menu to figure it out. Yay! Uh, back to the other one, please. Oh. <laughs> yeah, that one. Now, let's take a look. We need your help. Which one of these pancakes matches Una's expression? Surprised? Tired? Sad? Or grumpy? That one! Grumpy. That's right! Grumpy! Wait a minute, grumpy? Uh-oh. I'm afraid the fish that's come to town is grumpy. <gasps> been grumpy in our town before. It's the happiest town in the old... Mm. Oh, well, howdy, sir. I'm Sheriff Molly, and I sure am happy to meet you. What might your name be, Mr... Grumpfish. 
Of course it is. <laughs> How about a plate of Dima's delicious pancakes, Mr. Grumpfish? I don't like pancakes. Now that's one grumpy customer. And so Mr. Grumpfish went right on being grumpy. And everyone wondered, will anything ever cheer him up? I doubt it. Once upon a time, there were two islanders. I love dancing in the sunshine. I could do it all day long. But don't forget to feed the giant squid. Oh, yeah. The giant squid. When suddenly, the giant squid came. I am hungry. Quick, get him something. Here you are, old squid. A delicious fish. No, thank you. I want... Yes? A turkey sandwich. A turkey sandwich? With lettuce and tomato. Now, please. Yes, so oh squid. Where are we going to get a turkey sandwich? Ancient legends tell us of a place where we can get everything we need to make one. What is this place called? The supermarket. And so, the islanders set off for Supermarket Island to get everything they needed for the turkey sandwich. Look, the giant squid is coming. Hungry. We better hurry. I got the turkey. I got the bread. What else do we need? Next, we need lettuce. Lettuce is a vegetable. Let's look at the signs. Which aisle has vegetables? That's right, aisle one. That's the produce aisle. Look, the giant squid is coming. Let's go. Here's the lettuce. And we're also looking for tomatoes. Do you see any tomatoes? Right, a tomato. What's taking so long? Almost finished. It's a good thing that everything in the supermarket is organized by aisles. So the islanders paid for everything in the cart and made the giant squid his sandwich. That looks delicious. Thank you. Mmm. Now dance, please. Oh, goody. And they lived happily ever after. Hooray! It's easy to find what you're looking for at the supermarket. You just have to look in the right aisle. Hey, Molly, check it out. You can stack cans really high if you put your mind to it. Not again. Hey, this one doesn't belong in here. Uh, Gilly? I think if I do it very carefully... Tell Gil what will happen if he takes a can from the bottom of the stack. It's gonna fall. Got it. Uh-oh. Gilly, look out! Hey, looky there! Ice cold lemonade! Here come some customers. Oh no! All of our lemonade got spilled. We don't have any left. Now what are we gonna do? We better make some more. Good thing making lemonade is easy. All you need is water, lemons, and sugar. Here's the water. And here's the sugar. Now all we have to do is add the juice of one whole lemon. Uh-oh. The lemon's already cut into pieces. We need your help, partner. We 
need the juice from one whole lemon. To make a whole lemon, we need two halves. Which two lemon pieces are halves? That one! And that one! Right! These two halves match each other and fit together to make a whole lemon. One pitcher of refreshing ice-cold lemonade. Howdy, folks! One at a time now, please. A rattle? We better skedaddle. Look! The rattler. All right, rattler. The good people of this town deserve some ice-cold lemonade, and we're here to see that they get it. Uh, don't cry, Rattler. What's the matter? I, I can't take this heat no more. I'm thirsty. Well, why didn't you just ask us? I never had a chance. Every time I'd rattle, you guys would skedaddle. We're awful sorry, Rattler. Now why don't you come have a refreshing glass of ice cold lemonade with us? Hot diggity! And so, the Lemonade Wranglers gave the Rattlers some ice cold lemonade. Refreshing! <laughs> it hasn't rained here in a really long time. And our strawberries are drying up. What are we going to do, Farmer Gobi? We can't make our delicious strawberry froyo without strawberries. Yeah, we really need it to rain. Gobi, look! That looks like a rain cloud. Here it comes. But just as it was about to rain. <laughs> rain, rain, go away. Come again some other day. Ooh. Oh, no! <laughs> it's a funny. Throw your farmers. Uh-oh. And so the farmers ran away. What are we going to do? That giant ruined our strawberries. Let's go see if our mountain strawberries are okay. Good idea. So the farmers went to check on their strawberries up in the mountains. Oh no! The strawberries up here are drying up too. They need water, quick. All right, rain! But once again. <laughs> rain, rain, go away, come again some other day. <laughs> Goodbye, bye. <clears throat> Excuse me, sir. <laughs> Froyo. Bad idea. Froyo, yo, yo. He's coming after us. Froyo. to our strawberries. There's got to be something we can do before they all dry up. And so, the farmers went to their last strawberry patch. Oh, no! Rain! Ah! Froyo? Froyo? You want frozen yogurt? Strawberry? I'm afraid we can't make strawberry froyo without strawberries. Yeah, and strawberries need rain to grow. And you keep blowing away our rain clouds. <laughs> I want strawberry froyo. <laughs> well, if you really want some strawberry froyo, we're gonna need to find a rain cloud. Clouds? Oh, I know where there are some clouds. Cloud above mountain top, cloud above sheep meadow, and the cloud above woodsy forest. <laughs> but uh, but I don't know which is best to make strawberries grow. 
The giant needs your help. Which one of these clouds will make rain so the strawberries grow? That one! You're right. That's a rain cloud. Oh boy! <laughs> Wee. Look! The rain is helping the strawberries grow. So the strawberries grew plump and juicy so the farmers could make their delicious strawberry frozen yogurt. Throw your yummy! <laughs> Let's go to the fast fruit restaurant! Hi, welcome to fast fruit. Can I help you? Yes, please. I'd like a fruit salad. I'll take a banana nana fofana, please. Coming right up! One banana nana fofana, make it fast! The Banana Nana Faux Fana has four banana slices and two strawberries. We need two strawberries. One, two. And I need you to help me count four banana slices. Ready? One, two, three, four. Four banana slices and two strawberries. Order up. There you are, a banana nana fofana fruit salad. Wow, that was fast. Thank you. You're welcome. Hi, welcome to Fast Fruit. Can I help you? Hello, I'll have a strawberry spectacular, please. One strawberry spectacular, make it fast. The strawberry spectacular has strawberries, blueberries, and orange slices. We need two blueberries. One, two. Three orange slices. One, two, three. And seven strawberries. I better hurry. Help me count seven strawberries. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten. Uh oh, that's too many. Go backwards with me. Ten, nine, eight, seven. Seven strawberries left. Thanks for your help. Order up. Here you go. One strawberry spectacular. Thank you. You're welcome. Excuse me. What time is it? It's time for lunch. 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 It's lunch time. Hey, what's for lunch? Hey, Nani, what did you order for lunch today? Lasagna extravaganza. I ordered vegetable delight. What did you order, Gobi? Three chicken surprise. But there are only two chickens. <laughs> Come on! We've got fruit to sell! You know, we're having a special on produce today. Produce means fruits and vegetables. That's right! Today, every piece of fruit in the store costs one dollar. Hit it! At Dina's Produce Park, to dance and holler Where every fruit you buy today Will only cost one dollar oh! Hello, I like your hat Thank you Will that be all today? Yes, please Here's one dollar Oh dear Every piece of fruit in the store costs one dollar So each banana in the bunch costs a dollar Oh, that's too bad Cheer up, sweetie this is a produce party! But I don't think I have enough money for all these bananas. Well, how much money do you have? Let's see. I have three dollars. How many bananas can I buy? Three! I can buy three bananas. Okay, let's see how many bananas you have. One, two, Three, four, five. Five bananas, that's too many. 
How many bananas do we need to take away so that Una only has three left? Two. Then let's take these two bananas away. We did it! We had five bananas and took away two. And now there are three left. And here's my three dollars. Thank you. Did you bring a shopping bag? No, I'll just wear them, thank you. Atta girl. Excuse me, what time is it? We bought some lovely produce, bananas by the bunch. But now the party's over because it's time for lunch. <laughs> Hit it! What time is it? It's time for lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. What time is it? It's time for lunch. It's lunch time. Hey, what's for lunch? Hey, Gobi, what did you get for lunch today? I got a can of baked beans. What did you get, Gil? I got a can of green beans. What about you, Nani? I got a can of jumping beans. <laughs> hey, come back here, jumping beans. <laughs> Jumping beans! That's ridiculous! I can't wait to have a delicious pretzel! Yummy! Who said that? It's Pretzel Quaddle! Yummy! I think he means us! Let's get out of here! Yummy! Yummy! Do. He's going to eat us! Gil, look! It's a Lost City subway! A subway is an underground train. That will get us to the temple fast! Hurry! Let's look at the map. These are the different subways. Red, blue, and yellow. Let's see which one we can take to get to the Temple of the Golden Pretzel. We're here. And the temple's over there. From this station, we can take the red or the blue subway. Una, look! The red and blue subways don't go to the temple. Only the yellow subway does. We have to get to the yellow subway. We need your help. Will the red subway take us to the yellow subway? No, it doesn't. What about the blue subway? Will the blue subway take us to the yellow subway? Yep, the blue subway takes us to the yellow subway, which takes us all the way to the Temple of the Golden Pretzel. Here comes the blue subway. Yummy! Oh no, here comes Pretzel Quaddle. Hurry, get on. Yeah! And there's the yellow subway. That'll take us straight to the Temple of the Golden Pretzel. Yummy! Pretzel, pretzel bottle! Ah! That was a close one. Come on! Next stop, the Temple of the Golden Pretzel. We're here. Come on. We made it. The Temple of the Golden Pretzel. You, look. Yummy. You said it, sister. Pretzel Guano, please don't eat us. We, we probably taste terrible. Eat you? <laughs> you guys are weird. I only eat pretzels. Really? Yeah. Would you like some? Yes, please. Help yourself. <laughs> I don't have hands. Here you go. Yummy. And so, Pretzel Quato shared his pretzels with the explorers. And everyone lived happily ever after. Hooray! You can ask 
your parents to subscribe to Nick Jr.'s Bubble Guppies YouTube channel for new videos every week. And watch full episodes on the Nickelodeon and Nick Jr. channel.